Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and you may have noticed we've actually had a pretty steady trickle of news the last couple of days, or last weeks actually, and that's because there have been a few developer conferences that were supposed to be going on. I can't mention them, I can't mention why they were delayed, but we all know what's going on and we're starting to see some of the results that we would have seen from those conferences, including one that's going on right now, which is the Google Developer Conference. And out of that came an announcement for the game engine that you currently see right here in front of you. And this is actually a game engine that I find quite interesting as of late. It's actually kind of rising like a phoenix from the ashes in that it was kind of left for dead and then as of recently they've actually had some pretty good titles come out uh, supporting it. They've moved to more of the Unreal Engine flat. I think it's a 6% royalty market and of course the game engine I am talking about today is CryEngine. You can see it here in front of you and there's been a massive redesign with CryEngine. It's a lot more streamlined. Uh, the initial install is quite a bit smaller. Um, it now uses C Sharp as a programming language option in addition to C++ and their visual programming language. And frankly, they are getting more and more agile in their approach to game development and trying to appeal to the indie developer segment more and more. One of the big problems we had, though, was that uh, it never supported mobile platforms. And that's kind of a big deal breaker, actually. So a bit of a spoiler for what we're going to be talking about. But yeah, that is changing. It hasn't changed yet, but it has been announced. So we are going to be getting uh, an update to CryEngine this summer, uh, and we'll get into that right now. So here you can see, uh, we will leave CryEngine. If you want to see more about this engine, I've covered it a couple times in the past. And to be honest, I'm really kind of tempted to revisit it, do a bit of a tutorial on this guy. So let me know if you have a level of interest in CryEngine. But that said, let's head on over. So as I mentioned earlier on, uh, Google has their uh, game developer conference stuff. If actually, if you look at the URL for this guy, uh, you can see what it was meant to be. Uh, but uh, they've been doing their stuff over the internet since we all have to be away from each other. Uh, this is the way to do it. And there's been a number of announcements out of this guy. I'm going to cover a couple of other news stories coming up. But the first one I wanted to cover today was this news about CryEngine. And the interesting thing about CryEngine is they actually announced Android support. So there is a new CryEngine Android beta programming. Now this, sorry, beta pro. Now this is actually not going to happen until the summer, but they're taking applications right now. If you already have a uh, CryEngine account, just head on over to cryengine.com forward slash Android, and you can join the program there. But here is the news announcement on it. So Crytek is pleased to announce that developers everywhere are invited to experience the power of CryEngine on mobile first by registering for a beta programming at cryengine.com forward slash beta. All right, different URL there. Uh, the beta program will launch later this year. CryEngine is the cutting edge 3D game development platform famed for its industry leading renderer, real time lighting, and optimized VR support. And Crytek has partnered with Google to bring the engine to the Android ecosystem. Technology behind CryEngine is platform agnostic by design. Uh, starting with the Android pipeline, the mobile beta program is the first step in bringing the engine that powers some of the most ambitious and beautiful games on consoles and PC to more mobile platforms. Following the Oculus Quest launch of Crytek's award-winning free solo rock climbing game, The Climb. Uh, so basically, they already have it working on uh, Oculus Quest, and Oculus Quest is ultimately Android power. So, um, Theodore Matter, technical director of CryEngine, said, CryEngine team is dedicated to helping game makers achieve their vision by putting the most powerful tools in the industry at their fingertips. We are proud that teams of all size all around the world choose our game development platform, and by participating in the beta program, developers will get to experience that, uh, what CryEngine can achieve on mobile chipsets, as well as participate in the development of the Android pipeline. They actually did a bit of a video on it. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and mute that straight out. And they're actually showcasing uh, CryEngine Engine, the, the tech noir, that whole real-time ray tracing with the RTX hardware thing they did at last uh, game developer conference, this is it running on a mobile phone. So uh, in theory, that performance, that technology should work in the mobile space. Now, of course, this isn't a low-end mobile phone it's running on. Uh, anyways, they continue on. CryEngine gives developers full control over their multi-platform creations in real-time. The engine's WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. Suite of tools enables real-time creation, editing, and in-game preview of every aspect and features of a game empowering developers to focus on delivering great experiences thanks to a faster iterative process in addition to the beta program's role in bringing the engine to new platforms CryEngine's learning offering continue to evolve and expand making it even easier for people uh, new to game development or experienced game developers transitioning from different engines to learn how to use CryEngine blah 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 so if you're interested cryengine.com forward slash beta however where I went was 
cringe. Oh, no, sorry, I was wrong. Not dash Android slash beta, my bad. Uh, if you do head to slash beta, it will bring you here. Uh, you'll see here the sign up. You can go there to register with them. If you're already um, logged into your account, it will say instead sign in. Uh, but there's a couple of interesting things to note here. One actually very interesting thing to note here. This is talking about a partnership with Android to bring the Android pipeline into CryEngine. Uh, but uh, yeah, take a look at that one. So uh, it's not an Android only announcement. And yeah, that's pretty significant. So one of the big things really holding back uh, CryEngine compared to the likes of you know Unity or Unreal is that lack of mobile support. It really was kind of flaring like like a sore thumb kind of thing. Uh, so that is a nice improvement there. Unfortunately, again, it's going to only be in beta like coming into the summer and who knows when this will finally be out of beta. If you take a look at the official roadmap for CryEngine, um, you can see down here 5.6 was summer of last year and then 5.7 is supposed to be spring of this year. And if you look under core systems, you will see Android support is there along with things like C++ 17. Uh, a couple of other really interesting things such as under graphics, you're gonna see support for DirectX 12 and Vulkan in the sandbox. That sandbox is their classic editor environment, what I showed you at the very beginning of this video. Um, and then of course we start getting into the ray tracing support that was offered last year at the Game Developer Conference. So I don't know where this beta for um, this kind of stuff is actually going to correspond with this um, whole roadmap. And I think the fact that it says spring of 2020, we can look at this roadmap as probably being gone. Uh, there were no announcements from CryEngine, at least not as of yet, about a new release. So if you head to CryEngine, uh, you go to their community section, you're gonna see under news, uh, there's nothing there yet. So I would have thought if there was a new thing coming out, it would have happened um, along with the uh, game developer conference announcement. So that hasn't happened. So I don't know when we are going to start seeing stuff coming from the CryEngine front, um, but it is an engine that, that definitely um, is moving in an interesting direction. The addition of mobile platform support is a big step. And one thing I really do like about CryEngine, and one area that it really sucked before, is it's a lot more accessible than it used to be. It's a lot uh, easier to get started and hands-on and get things working. Uh, if you compare kind of trying to get started using CryEngine or versus using Lumberyard, which is forked off of a much earlier version, uh, 3.1, 3.4, I believe, uh, version of CryEngine was forked uh, to make Lumberyard and trying to get both of those up and running and you will see yeah, immediately how much easier it is to work with CryEngine now. So there's some exciting things going on here and if that mobile support definitely does get added, it's definitely a move in the right direction. So right now, if you are interested, they are taking uh, applications at uh, cryengine.com forward slash beta and I'm interested to hear what you think of the fact that uh, not only, again, is it coming to... Um, the, the Android platform, but we also see that it's going to be coming to iOS as well as part of this beta program. So, uh, you know, real-time ray tracing without RTX hardware and support for those two mobile platforms could make CryEngine much more of a, of a contender. And lately, again, they've had some really successful hints. Uh, uh, Hunt Showdown was a CryEngine title. Uh, Wolsen was a uh, CryEngine title. So CryEngine is getting a bit of momentum and they've desperately needed it. So let me know what you think, uh, what you think of CryEngine moving towards um, mobile platforms. Are you going to be signing up for this beta program for when it becomes available or has that ship sailed and you're not interested at all? So let me know what you think about CryEngine content in general. Uh, with the, the reinvention that's going on there, I'm more and more interested in checking it out and doing something with it. So let me know if you guys are interested in that as well. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later and goodbye.